in this video we'll be looking at how to make any of our images look very stunning by using fill opacity settings inside of affinity now before starting if you want to follow along with this tutorial please find the images that we will be working on for this video with the link in the description and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please hit the subscribe button in order to get new tips and tricks related to affinity now with that said let's start the video so on the right you can see that we have an image layer for this particular image that you can see on the canvas so before applying any of the fill opacity first of all let's make a copy of our image and to do that i'll first of all select image layer and after selecting the image layer i'll use the shortcut key of command j in order to make a copy and if you are using a windows machine you can use the shortcut key of control j and that will make a new duplicate or copy of your current selected layer now after making the copy the next thing that we'll be doing is we'll navigate up and select the blend modes drop down right here which is labeled as normal for now so i'll simply click on this drop down and now you can see that we have different options for blend modes and one thing to note down here is fill opacity settings work best with only a limited and certain amount or number of blend modes for example it works best with color burn blend mode linear burn blend mode color dodge blend mode add blend mode vivid light blend mode linear light blend mode hard mix blend mode and difference blend mode so for this first section of our tutorial i'll select hard mix blend mode and after selecting hard mix blend mode you can see now that our image is not looking quite as intended however now let's control the fill opacity of this particular image layer in order to make our image much more like a professional look so and in order to do that we'll simply navigate to the top right of the layers panel and select this cog icon called blend options and after selecting the blend options icon you can now see that we have the blend options box getting popped up now in the blend options box if we look below then we can see something or a property called fill opacity so what basically fill opacity does is it will adjust or control the projection of this particular layer or the duplicated layer in our case where we have applied the hard mix blend mode so it's different from the opacity that we regularly see which only fades out any images or objects that we adjust the opacity to however the fill opacity works a bit differently since it only changes the projection of that particular hard mix blend mode we applied inside of an image so now let's change the value of the fill opacity we can simply click on this particular fill opacity property name or label and simply drag it all the way to the left like so and just to simply watch and observe that our image is starting to look a bit professional a kind of like it has been color graded so now i'm satisfied with the value of 15 percent so i'll leave the value of fill opacity to 15 percent for now and then in order to apply a commit i'll close this blend options box so this is entirely non-destructive workflow that means we can again go and open the cog icon or blend options icon which will open the blend options box and we can adjust the fill opacity value again so let's close it and after closing this down you can now see that our image is looking much more stunning compared to how it was before and in the original image you can see that the overall view although it is looking natural it is looking a bit kind of faded and there's not so much contrast to it and this is the after so we can again go ahead and control the fill opacity once more by navigating and selecting the blend options cog icon right here and let's decrease it a bit to the lower value to about five percent for now and i'll simply close down the blend options box now this is the before and this is the after now it has made a drastic difference to how our image was before similarly let's move on to our next image in our next document so this is the next image we have and first of all similar to our previous technique let's create a copy or duplicate of our image layer by selecting the image layer and then by holding down the command 
key and pressing the J key, let's duplicate the image layer like so. And after making the duplication or copy of the image layer, now similar to our previous technique, let's change the blend mode value of it as well to hard mix. And after changing the blend mode value of this particular duplicated image layer to hard mix, next, let's see what happens if we decrease the opacity. So now I'll be simply selecting the opacity label or property right here at the top of the layers panel and simply click and drag it all the way to the left like so. And you can see that what opacity does is it will simply fade everything out of the image where we cannot see anything of the image as you can see or preview in the thumbnail. So if we increase it, you can see that things are coming back. However, the opacity does not control the projection of that particular hard mix blend mode which we have applied in this particular image layer. So let's increase the opacity all the way to the right. And now similar to our previous technique, let's navigate up and click on this particular blend options cog icon and open the blend options box. And after opening the blend options box, similarly, let's navigate and select on the fill opacity property in order to control the value of fill opacity. So I'll simply click and drag it all the way to the right. And now you can see slowly that our image J's projection is starting to readjust as per the value of fill opacity. And our image is looking much more professional and giving us a good vibes compared to how it was before in its original state. So I think fill opacity of 12% is okay for now. I simply close the blend options box in order to commit. And after closing the blend options box, now you can see that we have successfully applied the fill opacity settings to this particular duplicated image as well. So this is the before and this is the after. And likewise, similarly, you can also change the blend options value for this one as well. For example, you can set the blend option value to linear light. As you can see, it is also giving a different kind of good stunning look to this particular image. You can change it to vivid light. You can change it to add color dodge as I've already clicked. And now you can see that color dodge is also giving a really good effect on this particular image. Similar to that, we can also add other blend mode options like linear burn or color burn. So let's see another blend mode which is difference in this particular case. So if I select difference right now and then if I simply select the cog icon or blend options icon and increase the fill opacity all the way to the right, you might notice that everything is black or darker in our canvas. So this is because the difference blend modes concept is that it simply negates anything that is similar to itself. That is, for example, in mathematics, we often come to find this concept that when we negate a similar value with the value that is itself, for example, 2 minus 2 will always become 0, right? So that's the same concept here. That is, when we change the blend mode of the same image that we have duplicated right here to difference, then it will negate out and give us a overall image of black color. So because of this reason, what we will be doing for this particular image is we'll simply click on the difference blend mode and then change it to some other blend mode like hard mix. And now we'll again navigate on the right and select the blend options cog icon. And after selecting the blend options cog icon, we'll just click on this fill opacity property and drag it all the way to the left to add or give it a good stunning look in our original image. So I'll simply drag it all the way to the left and set it to value of 12%. And after setting it to value of 12%, I'll now close the blend options box to commit. So this is the before and this is the after. So if we want, then we can again select this particular blend options icon and decrease the value a bit like so to somewhere at 9% and then close it as well in order to bring few details back in these areas. So after we are satisfied, now let's move on to our next image in the next document. So I'll navigate up and select our next document. And in this document, you can see that we have the image of trees. So we'll apply a bit different technique in this one. So since we do not have 
any solid color adjustment layer similar to Photoshop in Affinity, I think. We'll be adding a new blank layer and then filling a unique color or a monotone color in that particular layer. And to do that, we'll simply navigate to the right below the layers panel and click on this pixel layer icon to create a new layer. And after creating a new layer, now what I'll be doing is I'll simply select this particular color picker tool from the colors panel and then drag it in order to select a particular color from the trees that would match the overall color tone with our current image. So what I will do is I'll simply take a particular color. So I think I'll take this particular green color right here and after sampling that particular green color, what I'll do is by selecting the newly created pixel layer, I'll hold down the option key and press the backspace key. And similarly, if you are using windows, you can use the shortcut key of alt handily and that would fill the entire pixel layer that we have recently created with this particular new color entirely. So after filling this particular pixel layer with the new color, the next thing that we'll be doing is we will simply change the blend mode of this pixel layer. So to change the blend mode of this pixel layer, we'll navigate up and select the blend mode options right here on top of the layers panel. And this time what we will do is we'll select any other blend modes apart from hard mix. So in this case, let me select vivid light and after selecting vivid light, I'll simply select on this particular cog icon or the blend options icon right here. And now I'll adjust the value of fill opacity which will change the projection of our newly created colors inside of the new layer that we have just applied or created. So I'll simply click and drag the value all the way to the left like so. And now you can see that it is simply starting to change how the image looked before. So I'll set the value to somewhere at 42% for now and then I'll close the blend options box in order to commit. Now similarly if we are not satisfied the, with the color that we have initially choose we can also choose other colors as well in order to find the perfect color that would make our trees image much more stunning and professional. So I'll simply click the color picker tool and then drag it inside of our image like so and let me drag it like so and pick a certain color let's say let me pick this particular color for now or maybe i can go with something brighter so let me click the color picker tool again and select a brighter green color right here and after selecting the brighter green color i'll simply hold down the option key and press on backspace key in order to fill this particular pixel layer that we have newly created with the new color that we have sampled from our image. So one thing to notice here is before taking the sample, make sure that our newly created pixel layer is made unvisible or has been hidden by clicking on this toggle visibility icon. So what this does is when we select the color picker tool, we can only take the sample from this image layer. So let's take the color picker tool again and then navigate so that we can take the sample from the pure colors of our original image layer. So I'll simply take the sample of this particular pixel right here. And after selecting that particular pixel with the color picture tool, now you can see that we have taken the sample from that particular original image layer right here. And now let's select the newly created pixel layer. And then by holding down the option key, let's hit the backspace key. And now you can see that we have successfully filled our newly created pixel layer with that particular color sample that we have taken. And similarly, if you are using Windows, you can use the shortcut key of Alt and Delete. And now I'll make the toggle visibility on. And after making the toggle visibility on, now what we can also do is we can go to the blend option settings or cog icon and adjust the fill opacity again to make the overall tone of the image much more professional. So I'll set the value to somewhere at 17% for now and then click on this cross icon in order to commit and close the blend options box. So now you can see that our image is looking a bit more professional and stunning compared to how it was before. So this is the before and this is the after. 
where the greenery is very much lush and now let's move on to our next document where I'll be showing you all the blend modes that is compatible with the fill opacity settings inside of Affinity. So you can see here these blend modes like color burn, linear burn, color dodge, add, vivid light, linear light, hard mix and difference are the blend modes that adjusts or atone well with the fill opacity settings inside of Affinity. So next time when you work on any images, I think you can use these techniques in addition to using the fill opacity settings inside of Affinity to make your images look much more professional and stunning. So if you find this video helpful, please click on the like button and for more tips and tricks related to Affinity, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video.